Okay, today I'm here at the beautiful Huntington Reservation in Bay Village. Uh, this park is known for its famous beach, very beautiful beach along Lake Erie. But today, instead of uh, going up on Lake Erie and enjoying the beaches, I'm going to be hitting the wilderness trails that they have here at the uh, Huntington Reservation. They have a total of five trails. They go for about a mile and a half if you walk all of them. Uh, very short trails, but uh, very scenic, very beautiful. So let's go check them out. All right, here's a trail map of the Huntington Reservation. I want to point out to you what uh, trails we're going to be taking today. You can see Lake Erie up here at the top. Uh, we're going to start here, and this is the Porter Creek Trail. It's a quarter mile. I'm going to take that trail all the way up to the Multipurpose Trail use the multi-purpose trail to cross over the creek, then come up to the Hemlock Loop, walk along the uh, Hemlock Loop, over to the Ravine Trail, which is about right here, then use the Ravine Trail to go down through the ravine, and instead of going up this way on the Ravine Trail, we're gonna take a little shortcut and go right up on the uh, Fox Squirrel Loop, walk around the Fox Squirrel Loop, and then use the connector trail to go back over to the hemlock loop, cut over the multi-purpose trail, jump on the songbird loop, and then finish up our hike. So it should be a good afternoon. Let's go have some fun. Okay, the first trail we're gonna adventure on today is the Porter Creek Trail. It's a quarter mile trail that, as the name implies, it runs right along the uh, Porter Creek here in Bay Village. So let's head down to the trail. There's a little climb to get down there, but it's not too bad. Very scenic trail. You can see on the other side there, the uh, hillside where this creek has cut a gorge over many hundreds of years, thousands of years likely. So let's check out the uh, Porter Creek Trail. See on the hillside over there, a grove of hemlock trees. We'll be going up there next. And that is the Hemlock Trail. So this is the Porter Creek Trail, very short trail, but it's one you definitely want to check out. Very neat. Um, very scenic and a very quick walk. Okay, we're finishing up our hike here on the uh, Porter Creek Trail. And we're going to walk up here to the bridge and then cross over the Porter Creek on the... Um, multi-purpose trail and then we're going to head up to the hemlock trail And here's a view of the creek. Now one thing I wanted to point out here as we're walking up to the Hemlock Trail is you see these large structures over the road and they continue on over on the west side of the road. Those are remnants of what was called the interurban it was uh, basically like a streetcar, an electric streetcar that ran uh, from just after the turn of the century. I think it ran until the early 1920s. But it's a uh, relic of um, a bygone era. So very cool, something to check out when you come out to the uh, Huntington Reservation. Okay, here's more information about the inner urban. Um, also called, I think, the Lakeshore Electric Line. 
but it was a uh, basically like a electric streetcar that ran from Cleveland all the way out to Vermilion. And as the last line in this information states, it gave a chance for city dwellers to escape to the beach resorts along Lake Erie. And here's a look at what the cars look like. Wouldn't that be cool to have those cars still around today? Okay, we made it up on the hill and we're here on the Hemlock Trail and you can see you can either go right or left here. We're gonna go left and uh, that's gonna let us walk right along the, uh, the hillside there for some uh, really beautiful views of Porter Creek. So let's, uh, let's get after it here. And right down below, I'll give you a good view here of where we are. We're up on top of that hill that we looked at from the Porter Creek Trail. And you can see the Porter Creek there below. Very scenic trail. The Porter Creek, it starts down in Westlake, just south of Crocker Park, just north of the hospital there. Then it runs kind of northwest over through Lakewood Country Club, where they use the creek to create their lakes there. Then from Lakewood Country Club, it keeps running northwest over to Avon Oaks Country Club, where it creates the lakes at the Avon Oaks Country Club. And then after that, it makes a beeline to the northeast, where it eventually ends up flowing through Bay Village and eventually emptying into Lake Erie. Big hemlock tree there. Somebody down in the creek fishing. Surprisingly, they get quite a few steelhead trout in the uh, creek. And you do have to be careful walking where I'm walking here because you're right along the edge of the hillside. And the embankment is about 35 to 40 feet. So you don't want to slip and go over. It's not a real steep, steep embankment, but still you got to be careful. This is Earth Day uh, 2020, and it's actually very cold. It's only about 39 degrees and a little spitting snow. Not something you expect on April 22nd, but we'll take it because uh, warm weather is right around the corner. Okay, now we're entering the section of the trail that really has a nice grouping of hemlocks. And the eastern hemlock is a very special tree, as everybody knows. And in Ohio, it grows really in the eastern part of the state, in the Appalachian region. But it also uh, grows uh, in northeast Ohio, all the way to like the middle of... Lorraine County, like around or along the Vermilion River, along the French Creek, there's some hemlocks there. So this is one of the farthest west uh, growths of natural hemlocks in Ohio. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful spot here in the forest at the uh, Huntington Reservation. We'll take a good look at some of these hemlock trees. These are some younger ones here but you have some that are actually very tall and uh, very large as well. Here's a good view of them. So here on the Hemlock Loop Trail at the Huntington Reservation, and some of these hemlocks are over 100 feet tall, I would say, at least 80, 90 in that range. So it's an old growth of natural hemlocks here along the Porter Creek in Bay Village. And you can see the creek down 
the gorge below us. Okay, the next major trail here at the Huntington Reservation is the Fox Squirrel Loop. And you can see it up on that little hillside there. It's separated from the Hemlock Loop by a trail called the Ravine Trail. And it's a two-tenths of a mile trail that basically does what the name suggests. It basically goes through the ravine and up the other side and uh, takes you to the Fox Squirrel Loop Trail. So let's go down the ravine trail now. And this trail has a couple of uh, bridge crossings over little streams that run through the ravine. There are two. That was the first one. And then down here, you can see The next one to cross to take you over to the uh, fox squirrel loop. So again, this is a very short little trail, but it's one you don't want to miss. And you can either go up that hill there, which is a steep embankment, or you can take this uh, path and it's a little less steep. So I think today we will take the uh, easy path and head up to the uh, top of the hill here and get on the fox squirrel loop. Very cold day, as I mentioned before. Feels like winter time, even though it's April 22nd. But that's how it is in Northeast Ohio. We have a very short spring, beautiful summer, Beautiful fall, long winter. Okay, now we're up on the fox squirrel loop trail. Walked off the uh, fox squirrel loop to check out this huge oak tree, which is actually at the edge of Cahoon Park and the Huntington Reservation. But you could just see this oak tree with just gigantic branches that come down almost to the ground really something to see. So when you walk on the fox squirrel loop and you're on the east side, there are some little trails that go up into uh, Cahoon Park. And you can stop by and check out this oak tree, this huge oak tree, which is probably, I would say, well over 150 years old and its circumference is probably 15, 16 feet at about a height of four and a half foot. So this is a mammoth tree to check out when uh, you're hiking along the Fox Squirrel Loop. Again, it's on the east side, kind of the far northeast corner. Get off uh, on one of the little side trails there, walk up into Cahoon Park, just on the edge of Cahoon Park and the Metro Park, and you'll see this beauty. All right, since I uh, was at the oak tree and it was right along Lake Road, I couldn't resist crossing the street and taking a look at Porter Creek and the point of Porter Creek where it enters Lake Erie and you can see that uh, the waves are pretty big today probably four or five feet uh, it's pretty windy day but not too bad but the waves are just crashing in to the shore here one thing that's cool about the uh, mouth of Porter Creek where it enters Lake Erie is it's constantly changing 
depending on both the flow of the creek and on the wave action on Lake Erie. So you can see today, the waves have the better of the flow of the creek and consequently there's a lot of sand that has been pushed up onto the shore creating kind of like a dam and the only uh, escape for the water is just this very little narrow passage here over on the right hand side and there the uh, water is flowing very quickly because the waves of the lake building up that sand have created this little lake now what will happen over time is as the flow of the creek becomes stronger it will bust through that sand and create a more normal flow when those waves settle down but it's really just an interesting phenomenon to check out while you're at uh, the huntington uh, reservation okay we're at the end of the trail here uh, at the uh, fox squirrel loop and it's got a very nice uh, overlook here of the Porter Creek down below and we will continue now around on the fox squirrel loop and we're going to be heading down to the connector trail you can see what it looks like in the woods here got some big stones out in the middle of the uh, forest a number of uh, bushes now are starting to come in to bud. And probably in about two to three weeks, everything now that's bare will be green here along the fox squirrel loop. Okay, we finished up our hike on the fox squirrel loop. So now to get back over to the hemlock loop, instead of taking the ravine trail, I'm going to take the connector trail, which connects the uh, fox squirrel loop and the hemlock loop. And it's a straight uh, trail. It goes about two tenths of a mile. It's got some nice wildflowers along it. And recently they've done some uh, cutting of the trees. So there's a lot of logs that are piled up along the way. So let's go check it out. Here's some of the cuttings that they recently did. Some of the trees were, I think, diseased and had a potential for falling. So the Park Service here wanted to make sure that, I'm sure that there was no safety hazards and also to clear a, uh, clear a better path for you to walk on this connector trail. And it rises above one of the streams that flows through the park and empties into the um, Porter Creek and that's the little stream there. And that stream over the years has cut that ravine that separates the hemlock loop and the fox squirrel loop here at the park. This is a big tree right here that they took down. Probably a circumference of about nine feet, I guess. So let's continue along this trail. And as I said, it's got some beautiful wildflowers. Let's check out these white wildflowers here. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of these flowers, but they are beautiful. They just recently started blooming. If anybody knows, uh, put the uh, name of the flower down in the comments section. But these flowers are all along this little connector trail. And you can see more over here as well. Just beautiful. Okay, we're coming up on the western end of the Hemlock Loop Fox Squirrel Loop Connector Trail. And here you can either go right and get on the uh, Hemlock Loop, or you can go left and cross over the Multi-Purpose Trail. And that's what we're gonna do, and get on the little Songbird Loop to finish up our hike. Okay, I'm back here now on the Songbird Loop Trail. It's a quarter mile trail that runs uh, right beside the fire department here in Bay Village. And it's a, a nice little trail. It's got uh, heavily wooded deciduous forest and a little creek, as you can see down here in this gully that runs on the east side of the, um, of the trail. 
So we'll take a walk up through here and show you what the sites look like. A lot of uh, trees that have been left to disintegrate, you know, and replenish the uh, soil in the forest. And of course, it provides a home for uh, insects, which feed the birds and keep everything going. So this is the Songbird Trail. It's just to the east of the Wolf Picnic area here in the Huntington Reservation. Real quick walk, you know, just a quarter of a mile, but it's one you don't want to miss. It's uh, disconnected from the other trail, separated by the all-purpose trail or multi-purpose trail. But again, it's uh, one that you want to check out. Here's a good view here of the little creek that runs beside the trail. And then up on the hill there, you see the uh, garage for the fire department and also for, I believe, EMS and uh, police department as well here in Bay Village. So this is the Songbird Loop Trail. Okay, so I finished up my hike here at the Huntington Reservation. All total, I walked about 1.75 miles, so about one and three quarter miles. And it took me about 49 minutes. And that includes the little detours that I made to take a look at the oak tree and also to take a look at the uh, mouth of Porter Creek where it enters Lake Erie. So this is a great quick hike if you've got an hour to spare. You can come out to the Huntington Reservation, walk the five trails, walk over to see Lake Erie, check out the oak tree, and you can do it all in under an hour. So until the next time, remember what I always say, spend one hour outdoors every day being active. You'll feel great and your health will greatly benefit. So again, until the next time, that's it from the Huntington Reservation in Bay Village.